Okay, uh, good evening and welcome everybody. Uh, now I'm going to be doing a playthrough of the Rise and Fall of Civilization with the Turks, the Ottomans, okay? Uh, this actually shouldn't be too tough. Let's go ahead and look at our victory conditions so everybody's on the same page here. We got to control the Bosphorus, which is the Istanbul Strait, by 1500, which basically means take over uh, Constantinople, which is very easy to do. Control the Balkans, the Black Sea, and Mesopotamia in around 1700. Uh, that's just going to involve a lot of settling, maybe a little conquest. And then have at least three vassal states by 1870. That might take some doing. Uh, that's kind of a matter of luck. First thing I want to do right out the gate, let's go ahead and switch our civics up. Uh, Slavery is pretty useful. Best morality. And then, uh, we get, nah. It's not worth the extra. Well, no, it's not worth the extra. Okay. And our powers of power assimilation, most everybody else's culture turns into our culture. When we take over a city. Very useful. Okay, so we gotta take over Constantinople. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous that that's your goal because if you don't take over Constantinople, I mean, you're not even playing the game, okay? Because there's no way you're gonna win in such a manner. The important thing is we gotta get Constantinople taken. Once we take over Constantinople, pretty much all the other Byzantium will collapse. Most of the cities will flip to us, and the ones that don't actually flip will become independents and be very easy to take out. Now, a lot of times you would just go ahead and start your uh, first city at this point, but I'm not doing that. Because to start the first city would uh, cause us to have kind of a crappy capital, and we don't we don't want that. So, anyway. Next turn, we'll go ahead and attack. Oh, they got another unit. But, I mean, with this one, we've got... Crap, that's not what I wanted. Anyway, I guess it's all right. All right, good. Met the Arabs. With the Arabs, we're definitely going to attack them pretty quick. Oh, sure. Gotta watch out for the Germans. The Germans will cause problems for us. This is no real rush, so let's do it again. Want to make sure that we don't lose any cannons. Oh, wow. That's kind of neat. Yeah, let's see if we can seize Jerusalem without uh, without having to uh, without having to fight uh, the Arabs. That'd be nice. All right, everybody, just kind of bunker up there. We got most of the good things. We'll start with some simple there. libraries. And what's interesting is there's no Baghdad yet. Which is good, we're not going to have to fight for it. Which I appreciate. Let's see if we can get that one next turn right there. Always scare them here. We better oh, forge. Yeah, forge is a must. Okay, it looks like we've got a bunch of workers that we don't have anything to do with. Not yet. Well, even after, we probably won't have all that much to do with them. Uh, could use some irrigation here. Just take you over here and fortify you up. So I don't have anything to do with you yet. Okay, good. Alright. Next up, we'll take out Constantinopolis here. To fall pretty easily. And then Athens will fall right into place after that. Key is we need those three cities in Mesopotamia, three cities in the Balkans, four cities in the Black Sea. It might seem like a lot, but some of these double count, so. And it'll cost money, but it'll get it over with. Okay. Yes, I realize I got a lot of resources. Okay. Let's see if the city will automatically collapse after I take this out. Alright. 33... Ah, it's only 33%. That sucks. Even after all that bombarding I've done. 
Alright, well. Here goes nothing. I'd like not to lose these guys, but there's a good chance I'm gonna lose at least a couple. Yeah, well, there's one. 55%. Good. Okay, now we got 94%. Good. These guys, in a little while, I'll upgrade them too, so. Nice. I've lost 97% chance that was for That's totally gonna remake the map here. Okay. Now the time will eventually come for me to choose a religion here. And I'm definitely gonna go for Christianity. Uh, it's not very historical, but uh, the fact is that Europe is the people I'm most likely to have problems with because they're going to be quite strong. Uh, ah. Yes, well, I was certainly right about there being a change. What I was wrong about was it being advantageous to me. Well, I didn't say that, but... Anyway, that's okay. We will put that one on the back burner for now. But we won't forget about that noble conquest and goal there. Let me tell you. Just back these guys off because they're mad. They're probably going to get that uh, cultural area. Well, not really. There's actually the holy temples and all that won't give them culture. Well, anyway. So. Oh, wow. Fred, I wish. Oh, I got, I got, I got, I got, there's nobody guarding this town. So we have to get there as quickly as possible. I'd rather do no fighting to get a town than do some fighting to get a town. Oh yeah. But unfortunately I'm not going to be able to make it this turn. Now I'm going to need to take one of you fellas over here to the Balkans. So we can work on our second goal. And then another one of you fine fellows up near Landau here. I don't want them right across from each other. Yeah, I'm going to have to put it on the stupid horses, which I don't want to, because obviously I mean, I'm going to lose out on most of the great benefits from doing so. But yeah, that's okay. Start a city over here, and we'll be in good shape. These particular units are actually going to have the spy go look at how good the Arabians are doing. Uh, obviously, doing very good because like first in score, but uh, mm, let's have them fortify up for now. I'm going to find something better for them to do. Alright, so it's a pretty good first turn. Good, a 10A is not going to have any defenders, so it's going to fall pretty easily. Well, I mean, pretty easily. That's kind of an understatement. It's just going to fall. Uh, it's no problem. No, I don't think we'll be fighting the Spanish. Sorry, kid. 
Sources around that. The second sound of the town right here is going to be Derak. Yeah, there should be peace in our time. Sounds good to me there, Louis. I don't want your stupid compass, so don't try to sell it to me. And I know it's going to come up like about 50 times. Alright. New city here. Kilia. This doesn't sound like a very nice town, really. Sounds like the kind of town you did, you know, killed. And I'm sure it doesn't mean that in uh, Turkish. All right. So there we go. So we've got three. No, forget it. Three out of the four cities on the Black Sea, we've achieved our first goal, which is really a gift. And, uh, oh, Apostolic Palace, uh, says Louis the boss. Very good for Louis. I'm happy for him. Anyway, uh, so, the deal here is that we got three out of our four cities for, uh, out of our four cities as far as uh, as far as the Black Sea is concerned and then we've got all three of our Balkans and this should be our three Mesopotamians of course we have to hold on to it wow it would be really nice to go after that city but a really poor idea at this point in the game actually it's not so bad to have a capital in Konya Forget about it. Oh, great. Last thing. I mean, when you're talking about the Russians, I mean, when you when you're Turkey in this game, that's who you gotta watch out for. You gotta watch out for the Russians, and you gotta watch out for the Germans. Those are the two that are going to cause me the most problems, and that I need to be very careful about, uh, because uh, we probably will end up fighting them. And uh, it could be my undoing, especially the Germans are very tough. I'm not so worried about the Arabians. I don't think they really have uh, what it takes to hack it. Although they would have a lot less of what it took if I actually took Cuds when I was supposed to. Uh, but whatever. We are where we are, and there's plenty of time to take it. Good relations are very important, especially with a completely harmless guy like him. Start coughing out Janissaries. Ah, oh, crap, my spy got caught. That's okay. Germans, you want some open borders? 